What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the x Cozier Star Wars Commander Gree helmet. I paid around $130 for this piece. Um, that's what it is going for. And you can find quite a few different helmets that x Cozier produces uh, on Amazon or eBay or other different platforms. I got my trusty knife here, so let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. Nicely packaged, that is what we like to see here. Let me get you guys a different angle. All right, so I'm just gonna carefully lift it up like that. Look at that beauty, wow. That is awesome, all right. I love how they have that plastic there to protect the helmet. Wow, all right, we're gonna take a closer look at that helmet here in a second. Great packaging job so far by x -Kosher. A lot of foam in there, that's what we like to see. Nothing loose, nothing moving around, so pretty good job on x Kosher Zen. Another really cool thing is they added a face mask. I went ahead and took it out there and tried it on. Fits pretty well. Uh, that's a really cool thing that uh, x Kosher decided to kind of, you know, add in there together with the helmet. So I went ahead and put the helmet on the turntable here so we can get a nice 360 view as I'm talking here. And guys, this helmet is amazing. For what it is, I mean, it's not your Hasbro Black Series helmet, okay? Uh, it's made by a smaller company. It, it, your helmets are going to be hand-painted. But guys, for being hand-painted helmets, this thing is awesome, okay? Yeah, there, you're going to get some blemishes here and there and some imperfect spots, kind of. But, I mean, it's just, it looks amazing for what you're paying, for what you're getting. Uh, the fact that you can find these on Amazon right now. They're on sale on Amazon right now. I would recommend it, guys. The quality is just, it's amazing, you know. Uh, it is a resin cast. And, uh, yeah, so let's go to take a closer look at this helmet. And then we're going to take a look at the inside. And then I'm going to put it on, see how well it fits me. When looking at the visor here, um, it is going to be kind of your flimsier plastic there, um, but it's put on there pretty solid, so I don't really have many complaints with that. It's just not going to be your solid plastic piece, okay? It is kind of flimsy, right? Um, and, uh, you know, the fact that they put the x Cozier on the back, that kind of bothers me, but then again, not really. <laughs> Um, I don't mind them branding it like that because it is their, you know, their piece, right? Um, I just wish they put it like maybe inside the helmet or something like that. All right, so taking a closer look at the inside of the helmet here, I can say this thing is heavily padded. This thing is really soft on the inside. I want to say the overall, the whole helmet is really heavy too, guys. It's not a light helmet. I mean, it's not too heavy, okay? It's, it's bearable if you're going to be wearing it, but... Yeah, you can definitely feel the weight in this thing. Um, really good job there. I can see that some of these are actually Velcro placed in there. So you can remove the padding if you need to for, I don't know, adding lights or something like that. Um, there's another look at that vel um, uh, that the, uh, visor that's put in there. So kind of your more flimsier plastic. It does, I do see some glue residue there. Okay, so, um, but honestly, it just doesn't really bother me that much. Um, they put it on there nice and nice and snug. So um, pretty good job, I will say. I really like that the fact that they added that padding. That's definitely an A plus for me. Uh, if they didn't add the padding, yeah, I would kind of feel kind of weird. So yeah, really good job. Really great job. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put this helmet on and see how well it fits me. All right, so I got the uh, the face mask on here. So let's go ahead and try this thing on. Wow. All right, so uh, it's definitely getting a little claustrophobic in here, but obviously it's a helmet, so it's going to feel like that. Visibility, not bad at all. You can definitely see pretty well, surprisingly, with how you know narrow these slants are over here, or the visor is. So, yeah, I like this helmet, guys. This thing's going to look great on the shelf, and if I do ever decide to wear it, I'm going to look pretty good, you know, look pretty stylish. <laughs> Yeah, definitely digging the helmet, guys. And it actually fits really well. Surprisingly, it fits really well. Because of the um, the padding, it definitely helps with, uh, you know, being nice and snug on your head there. So, Whew. I will say, though, uh, the longer you keep this thing on, the hotter it gets. Okay, so it's definitely, if you're going to be using this for cosplay purposes, 
it is gonna get really hot in there, really hot and sweaty. So I'm glad that they at least gave you this uh, mask to kind of help with that. And uh, yeah, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe if you're new here, and possibly stay tuned for more videos. I haven't really uploaded as often as I uh, used to, so uh, you never know. Maybe you'll see some more videos soon, guys. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much. x Kosher, great job. Guys, don't forget, this is on Amazon for around $130. So uh, definitely make sure to check it out. And peace out.